introduction to our I would like to start with an introduction to our three guests today. Um, let me start with uh, Jean-Guy de Gabriac. He is an award-winning advisor and educator. Some of the most beautiful destination resort spas in the world have relied on Jean-Guy's renowned insights to create the wow experience that keeps clients coming back. And by coming back, I'm talking about getting on a plane and coming back. So that speaks volumes. Uh, John Gee is also the founder of World Wellness Weekend, which falls on September 18th and 19th of this year. This is its first, excuse me, its fifth year. Um, so that's something to celebrate too. I don't know where that falls in anniversaries, five. Um, we'll have to take a look at that. Silver? No, that would be nice. World Wellness Weekend is now celebrated in, I believe, and John Gee can correct me, it, it's 130, maybe even one country's um, this, yes, 131 countries and supported by 60 organizations in alignment with the United Nations Third Sustainable Development Goal, Good Health and Well-Being for All, World Wellness Weekend connects wellness enthusiasts to nearby professionals through its geolocator. And jean -Guy will talk about getting you on the map, <laughs> world map. Uh, world Wellness Weekend inspires people from around the world to enjoy healthy lifestyles through safe, free, and fun activities and exciting special offers. jean -Guy also serves as conference producer of world spa and wellness conventions in London and Dubai. He is the immediate past chair of the supporting the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals through the Global Wellness Institute. He is a board member of the International Massage Association and judge at the World Spa and Wellness Awards. Jean Guy has contributed to over 300 articles in the media. Fian Duquette is the founder of the School of Talents. You could give us a wave there, Fian. <laughs> um, spa Fian Inc. specialized in the ancestral wisdom healing massage of Kobido and La Gestuelle Yin Yang. Her mission as teacher is to restore the nobility of the ancestral art of massage, the heritage of a way of life. Fian has the privilege to represent Quebec as ambassador of the World Wellness Weekend, the mission of solidarity for wellness community to highlight talents driven by the gift of self. Sophie Limburner, say welcome, welcome Sophie. A true pioneer, Sophie took her initial plunge into the interactive world back in 1998 when she founded one of Canada's first digital agencies, BlueWhyNotBlue.com. As someone who loves the challenges of bringing real world activities with online media and is keenly aware of the benefits of yoga for mind and body, Sophie originally came up with the idea of Yoga Tribes back in 2011. I love that name. <laughs> Theorizing that the burgeoning yoga industry still wasn't ready for a sharing platform. She spent nearly three years building prototypes, speaking to yoga teachers about their careers and analyzing the business opportunity. Sophie passionately believes in furthering the development and well being of mankind and the positive role that has increased participation in yoga worldwide can have in that evolution. She is confident that the Yoga Tribes model and community has a significant part to play in sharing economy, uh, excuse me, in, share, in the sharing economy revolution. Sophie is a groundbreaking woman entrepreneur who is in her element when facilitating connections. Yoga Tribes is therefore a perfect expression of her experience and personality. In fact, she's a genuine tribal, uh, excuse me, she is a genuine tribe leader. So welcome uh, to our, th our three panelists today. That's, uh, that's quite the background for all three of you. <laughs> um, so jean Guy, allow me to start with you. Some of our attendees watching may already be familiar with World Wellness Weekend and some are not. So I'm wondering, um, a good place to start is if you could tell us why you started World Wellness Weekend back in 2017 and how it has evolved to where it is today. Thank you, Catherine. I'll try to stay as, as brief as possible, but for some of you, those of you who know me, 
I'm French, very passionate, and sometimes I like to tell a long story long. It's hard for me to tell a long story short, but I'll try. Um, I've been very passionate about our industry, not just because um, it's a cool industry to be in, beautiful spas, great lifestyle, um, but actually because it matters, it's meaningful. And beyond touching skin, we can touch lives and we can make meaningful, positive changes into the lives of those we meet as clients and those we live and work with. And I believe we can create a little slice of heaven here on earth and help people um, refocus on what's really important for them and make um, positive changes into their personal objectives, their professional agendas. We can do that, you can do that, and you do that consistently when there's no COVID and, and you, you have your guests. So everyone really wants to be special, don't we? We want to be unique. We want to have that little edge so that people will come to spa A and not spa B, which is at the other side of the town. I believe that if we are together, we are stronger not just to have more clients, but to really promote and reinforce that what we, the vocation that we chose, the profession that we chose matters, and we can help, we can advocate for healthier lifestyles, not just selling gift certificates whenever there's a birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas, but to have people come over and over again uh, on a regular standpoint, um, every month, every quarter with packages, with programs, and then they will feel how great it feels to be well consistently with improvements on a physical, emotional, mental, social um, standpoint. So if we continue to work, each of us in our spa, our salon, our box, we continue to do the best job we can for our jobs, our teams, our shareholders, our bosses. If we decide to work hand in hand at least one weekend out of the year, and if we join with other professionals that will kick this event um, at sunrise in Fiji, and will officially end with a pule, with a, a chanting, a song, on the shores of Hawaii at sunset on Sunday, if we are part of this family, of this tribe, of this profession, then we can make a big impact in the media. And together, we can uh, generate stories in local media, regional media, national media. Some of you could be on TV like others have been in the past years. I wanted to focus and harness everything I had learned in those 20 years as a consultant and educator and give it back to our industry, give it back to the people in the treatment rooms, the spa managers and owners, so that World Wellness Weekend that first started in France and Belgium in 2017 and then grew the second year in 88 countries and 98 countries on year three, only had 160 venues saying, Jean-Guy, we know you, or Jean-Guy, we've heard about you. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll, we'll trust you. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, but we'll be part of it. Year two, 650 venues participated. Year three, only three years, 2,335 venues participated. Then COVID happened, and we continued to grow in the number of countries with 109 countries last year. Already since yesterday, I like your enthusiasm and optimism, Catherine. Maybe tomorrow will be 131, but as of yesterday, officially, North, um, North uh, Macedonia in the center of Europe in the Balkans joined, which makes it the 130th country. But once again, to make a long story short, really short, shorter, um, this is about you, because World Wellness Weekend is that tapestry in the background, that one moment in the year where you can say, I matter, my profession, my decision to work in this industry matters. And yes, I work 365 days when there's no COVID and I, I can open. But on that weekend, September 18 and 19, I want to be part of a larger family. I want to be part of a larger project. And I want to make it known to the media so that they 
will let their readership or their people watching TV know that there is a planetary event happening. So far, there's over 1,300 venues listed on the map on a website that I'll show you if you want later on in 16 languages so that at least English and French are represented. Um, and, uh, and then the focus will be on you. The focus of the journalist will say, okay, okay, Fiji, Hawaii, great. Don't tell me what's happening in Australia because I can't travel there. Tell me what's happening in Montreal. Tell me what's happening in Quebec, in Vancouver, in Toronto. Are you a participant or are you, what I can see on the website, a wellness champion? Are you going over and beyond? Is there something special about you? And then if all of us converge on that website with the fantastic support of Catherine and the members of the board of the leading spas of Canada, you matter, your teams matter. And it's not just, and I'll finish there for now, it's not that you will just appear the time of a weekend, just for the time of a butterfly to appear, flutter, and disappear into oblivion. If you sign up now, and it's free, I, there's no money scheme behind it, me sending you emails, selling your emails to other. It's about you and our profession to make sure that governments understand that what we provide is essential, that we should be essential workers. And Fian will tell you what one of the ministers said in Quebec about massage therapists being recognized as essential workers. And I would like that to spread around the world. So if you sign up soon, a, you will appear on the map right now and you will be able to say, not exactly now what you will do in September, take your time, we'll share a few examples, but you'll be able to say what you do right now in June, what you do in July and August, why people should come now to discover the services you have, the treatments you have, and people pay good money for that. And on the World Wellness Weekend, what will be the one hour that one member of your team or more but one is the minimum, one hour that one member of your team will donate to clients, to members, to a local uh, community to share wellness tips on a physical, mental, emotional, or social well-being. That's my long story. That's great. Great, Jean-Guy. I mean, it's a great opener to it. And I, uh, if, I think what I would like to do is direct to um, Fian and Sophie now as well. Uh, starting with Fian, could you tell us why you decided to participate in World Wellness Weekend and why you decided to become an ambassador for World Wellness Weekend? Uh, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, speak in French and Chongi gonna translate for you know for the audience the the French audience. So okay, so <laughs> you speak English perfectly. No, no. Uh, because because I, I want to respect the, the French audience of Quebec, you know, as the World Wellness Weekend of the province of Quebec. So, OK? Perfect. So, alors, uh, pourquoi j'ai participé? En fait, uh, uh, c'est à cause de la pandémie aussi qui m'a beaucoup poussé à aller dans cette direction. Et je cherchais un outil pour uh, um, attirer l'attention du gouvernement. Vas-y, Jean-Guy. So Fian wanted to participate, especially during this pandemic, because she wanted to catch the attention of the government. Voilà. Alors, le Weekend Mondial du Bien-être, uh, en, en c'est pas juste un événement uh, ponctuel, mais c'est aussi un mouvement de solidarité et de communauté. World Wellness Weekend for her is not just an event in September, it's a movement throughout the year. Um, towards more solidarity and uh, building a larger community. Et uh, donc uh, je me suis servi de, de l'outil du World Wellness Weekend pour à pour à recevoir le soutien de notre gouvernement. C'est comme ça que j'ai Interestingly enough, Fian, interestingly enough, Fian used twice um, a French word that I haven't translated yet. But it, because she uses she uses it twice, I'm going to to translate it. She talks about World Wellness Weekend being a tool, not just an event or a movement, a tool in how she wanted to address the government. She felt maybe that as a spa owner, as a trainer, an educator, alone, 
how strong is her voice when actually joining a movement, being the ambassador in her province of Quebec, gave her maybe, you know, raised the profile so that she could speak. And actually, she didn't meet just one minister, she met three. But I'm, 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 I'm beyond translating. Fian, vas-y. <laughs> Justement, c'est ce que je voudrais amener, c'est que uh, en tant que propriétaire de spa, en tant que uh, professeur de, de formation en, en esthétique et en massage, et uh, en, donc uh, j'avais besoin de, de, comment dire, de trouver un outil pour que la business continue et aussi uh, comment j'allais faire ça. Donc c'est grâce au World Wellness Weekend. Et alors ce que j'ai fait, c'est que j'ai uh, contacté l'association des massothérapeutes du Québec et so le ministre de la Santé. So interestingly enough, because of the pandemic and because her uh, spa was closed, because her activity as an educator and trainer was at a halt, she still wanted to work on her business because she could not work in her business. Mm -hmm. And therefore, World Wellness Weekend was a tool to leverage a way to speak with the Association Québécoise des Spas or uh, the Association... The, ma the Massotherapy. The Massotherapy. Ah. So, so, so the, the associations of massage therapists in Quebec as with a title and to approach the Minister of Health. Voilà. Ce n'est pas seulement pour la business, mais aussi j'avais besoin uh, d'être utile et de pouvoir aider dans la pandémie, de ne pas rester uh, les mains vides sans rien faire. So it wasn't just also to, to promote her business, she also wanted to serve, to be useful, to help, not just her business, but also others. She, she wanted to take a, a leading role in it. Who, voilà. who, if not her, who? Alors, pour, uh, pour y arriver, alors, donc, uh, on s'est appuyé sur la, les services de massage, et c'est comme ça qu'on a, on a eu uh, les appuis nécessaires, l'aide nécessaire, C'est comme ça que la, le, les services de massage sont devenus des services essentiels. Voilà. So she brought voilà. the conversation to the Minister of Health and she said, would you consider that what we do on a massage table as massage therapist is essential? Yes. Would you consider that those workers could be essential? Yes. Can you write it? Yes. Okay. But massage therapists in Quebec should be considered as essential workers. Don. Fian? Yes, so I was, I was uh, on mute. Alors, le, donc, le, on a eu l'appui, pas seulement du ministre de la Santé, mais du ministre du Tourisme, et aussi de, de l'innovation et de, sure. du développement économique. What is fantastic is that when Fian sent me the message saying that the Minister of Health had signed and was supporting, I said, that's fantastic. She said, Ed. that's not just it. Wait for oh, it. I don't... Watch that space. And Erica. And, um, and she also got in touch with the Minister of Tourism and the Minister of Innovation for Economic Growth. Super. Alors, uh, si, alors j'ai pensé, si on peut le faire avec la massothérapie, avec les services de masterapie, pourquoi pas les autres services de spa? And she thought, if we can do it with massage therapy, can we also extend this notion of essential workers to the other services provided in a spa? Voilà. Alors, en tant qu'esthéticienne également, mon objectif l'année prochaine, c'est d'amener les esthéticiennes aussi comme les, uh, les travailleurs essentiels. So her objective, because she's also a licensed esthetician, is also to campaign, lobby, work her way up to bring the conversation that not just massage therapists should be essential workers in Quebec, but also estheticians. Alors, je pense que je vais réussir. <laughs> and she thinks she will succeed because right now she ticked a few boxes, three actually. Voilà. Alors, uh, l'idée de, de continuer à fournir des services en créant différents événements, Donc, pas seulement l'événement du 18-19 septembre du World Wellness, mais des événements aussi le long de l'année, comme Jean-Guy a expliqué, c'est euh, de, de rendre possible euh, notre utilité en tant que travailleur essentiel. 
One thing that she she's uh, excited about, and, and maybe I'll stop translating, Fian, and maybe we'll, we'll, we'll pass the, the, the mic back to Catherine and, and uh, then to Sophie and others. But uh, one thing very important that she said is that, yes, World Witness Weekend is an event in September. Yes, it's a movement the rest of the year. And actually, when I'll show you the website a little in a you know, little while, you will see that it's not the logo of the World Wellness Weekend singular. It's about wellness weekends, plural, because yes, there's one weekend where we're all together and the rest of the year, there should be so many activities, events that you organize, retreats, staycations, getaways, um, uh, classes, events, celebrations to go into your respective spas um, along the weekend so that people have the habit then of um, including more wellness into their lives. Merci, Fian. Euh, alors, je vais finir, conclure avec ça, parce que je vais reprendre ce, ce que tu as dit. Donc, notre force ici au Québec, c'est vraiment de travailler ensemble, comme ça. Et, et donc, ce que j'ai fait, c'est que j'ai monté des capsules d'interviews sous forme d'ateliers euh, pour que les gens puissent se promouvoir et parler de leur passion. Et c'est comme ça que ça, ça fait, euh, c'est devenu viral. So, as you realize, when people start speaking French, they can't stop speaking. <laughs> and, uh, and, and when I said, that's her conclusion, she said, but I have another conclusion. And, and we, we had a fantastic conversation with Pat yesterday that's going to lead to a, um, a podcast. And whenever he had a question, he had two questions. And whenever I wanted to have one answer, I had two answers. Same with Fian. So it's not just one conclusion you have with Fian that I just translated. It's a second conclusion. And the second conclusion, but that will be the second and last conclusion for now, I hope is it's that they're working like this in the province of Quebec, part of one country, which is Canada, and encouraging you also to join uh, forces, to jump, jump on the bandwagon, so that all together on that weekend, we can promote what we do as a profession and also continue promoting, but also if we can, lobbying, advocating so that cities, visitors bureau, chambers of commerces, mayors, ministers, hear us out. Yes, I, I absolutely agree. And thank you so much, Fian, uh, for sharing that with us. I, actually, I look forward to working with you you know, on these initiatives because you know, I love that you, you, know, you say comes up um, together uh, for Quebec leading spas. We'd like to see this for the country. And, uh, and to put Canada on the map as a wellness country. And so I look forward to talking to you about that. I applaud you for the um, achievement of getting the ear of various ministers in Quebec, which you know we are on the same pathway and uh, we'll do the same. So your proclamations is a fantastic achievement and I applaud you. And we also would like to see uh, other service providers in spas get the same recognition. So world wellness is definitely more, you know, than, you know, an event, as Jean Guy said, this, this is a movement and it's a movement that I think is going to help facilitate what we're trying to achieve. And that is this, the, uh, the essential idea of essential um, for our, for our industry, for the businesses, um, so that we don't become neglected um, like we have during this pandemic. So I think that this is just such a, a fantastic um, way to go. And so if I could ask you, Sophie, um, could you tell me why you decided to participate in World Wellness Weekend and why you decided to become an ambassador? Thank you. Thank you, Catherine, for having me. Thank you, Jean-Guy and Fian, <clears throat> my community in Quebec. Um, and thank you for the question, because uh, I think this conversation is absolutely uh, uh, overwhelming with overwhelming me with uh, with joy, because uh, uh, I was uh, I was also on that same journey and that same path uh, with yoga and trying to uh, mobilize uh, not only our governments, but uh, corporate uh, institutions um, and making uh, making the statement that yoga teachers or certified trainers are uh, very important uh, 
uh, people and they, they really need to be uh, recognized, uh, especially during the pandemic. So I joined Fian in her initiative and I applaud her, uh, uh, like you said, Catherine, in, in having that ability to literally uh, take the next step, which uh, I think is very bold. And I think it succeeded tremendously. Now, why I accepted to join uh, Jean-Guy in his, in his crusade is that uh, Weekend Wellness Weekend is a label that is uh, a unity. It's, uh, it's absolutely um, uh, generic uh, to, to all uh, wellness provider. And as a more yoga ambassador and community leader, uh, I really thought there was a place there for, for yoga tribes to join in and to participate in the movement uh, as part of uh, uh, soul uh, community, uh, com uh, health, uh, wellness provider. So that is why I accepted his invitation and I am working as much as I can bring to the table uh, and to the group to, to mobilize. So I'm very happy that the spas, uh, the leading spas of Canada are um, <clears throat> joining in as well. And hopefully uh, we'll see the, uh, the, the great impact uh, that we together will be able to do. And I think that through this movement, uh, it's, it's so smart and simple because everybody is able to use the stamp, uh, the stamp of uh, certification um, that makes it that makes it all yours. And it is it is a very very good tool to reach out uh, and make your business part of a more global uh, concern and and movement. That's wonderful, Sophie. Thank you so much. I know that, you, you know, you just everything that I've heard so far, um, you're going to make an amazing contribution and you already have. And I just, I feel fortunate to know you now too. So next Thank you. Thank you. Um, I also would like to um, bring it back to uh, Jean-Guy and I, I, I rotating around the panel as well to Talk about the, you know, John, you're going to bring up the website, show them a little bit about it, but also, um, you know, what advice would you give to those who are contemplating or thinking about considering participating? Easy. You don't have to. <laughs> if you feel that you want to, please do. If you feel that, yeah, what's in it for me? Lots. And we have a document that I can send you that we have sent to Catherine called Be Inspired with World Wellness Weekend. It's very practical. It's not, it's not World Freebie Day or Freebie Weekend. It's not that you have to give something for free when actually you, I mean, business has been tough already, um, quite tough. So now that you reopen, having to give something Thing for free on a weekend when you'll be quite busy why would you do that well if you believe in the power of many and if you believe that you can be the one identified in your city in your neighborhood in your province in your region as a wellness champion there's a chance that journalists bloggers influencers see that too if you do that you know yeah okay well you know we'll we'll give um free skin diagnosis and anyone for an hour and anyone joining can have a free drink. How's that? That won't work. Is there, you know, it's, it's an opportunity to have a conversation with your team because the World Wellness Weekend, yes, hopefully will bring more awareness about your property so that you can be on the map. You can be top of mind for people, locals around you especially with people traveling less. Um, if you had an international clientele, now is the time to really look for, for, the, for the locals, to have them come, to have them come back, to have them come with their friends, their best friends. For, time for you to really focus on who, what type of clients you want more, and then create something that will make them come. I'm not asking you to create something that Cirque du Soleil could have done with 
costumes and activities and music and then then something explodes and, and the trapeze is around. No, 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 something simple, but something that will put the highlight and the focus on your talent's team, your, your team's talent. So first conversation, if you want to join, you may, you, um, you may ask, you know, where's, where's the trick? Where's the thing? Where do I pay? Because you say it's free. And if it's free, then I'm the commodity. And it's, it's about us and it's about us as an industry. So if you don't want to come, you don't have to. I will not push you. If you're interested, keep listening. Um, have a conversation first with your team and say, if you were to do things differently and were able to speak to a crowd of 10 or 20, what would you do differently than what you do now? You're, you're, do, you're great at what you do. I'm not saying you have to change. I'm not, this is not an evaluation. Oh, don't get me wrong. But if you have a carte blanche to suggest something that sets your heart on fire and that when people hear about what you can do, they'll say, sign me up. So do something signature, do something superior. Is it, um, um, can I share my screen quickly? Uh, yes. Okay, I'll share that. Share, share here. Do you see my screen? Yes. I'll go very quickly because this is the, a document that uh, Catherine can send you easy. Um, up. No, I shouldn't do that. I should do this. Yes, I should do this. Think strategically of what you want to attract more in your life and how the people you want to have. So think of that signature activity and I'm going to show you some examples after. Think of packages you can present after because there's no point of having come to your property just for a free hour if it's not to encourage them to come back for a package, a wellness offer, a bounce back voucher and mix it up as you want. There are activities specifically around beauty that you can organize, a mask bar. I mean, everyone's wearing a mask now. Time to change the type of mask that you put on your face and on different parts of your face. And you have different types of clay, diff different types of uh, um, uh, active principles, different types of color. That would be a great moment to take your phone and to make Instagrammable moment of that mask bar so that people can, can see how they look with different colors and then remove and see how they look uh, and how their skin is rejuvenated. Face yoga, eye yoga. People don't have to take off their clothes. People uh, can sit uh, two meters apart or just one hockey stick apart, uh, as you say in Canada. Uh, and they can practice um, doing faces, uh, clench, working on their muscles, and they can learn the many muscles. You know the anatomy, you know the physiology. They don't. They have a face, they have cheeks, they have mouth, and they have eyes, and they have um, uh, how do you say saggy eyes or um, how, what, what's it called when you have wrinkles and, and, and the, the um, dark puffy. circles puffy <laughs> that, that's what they know let them know about the anatomy and the physiology excite them about learning something about them so that they can share that to their friends and the next time the, the following Monday when they say when friends say what have you been what have you done this weekend I went to a fantastic workshop did you know you have zygomaticus? Did you know you have this? Did you know you have that? And you can activate them. And with this, it's anti-aging. If you practice it, show me gladly. Then they become part of the experience. And then they say, where did you learn that? At that spa. A lift me up workshop. And God, we know that to boost energy. Revitalize a mini conference about what you've learned on, on, the, on your, your you know, life, what, what, has, what, what it has taught you. It can be about yoga fitness it can be in the water outside of the water it can be zumba outside to to really sweat it out it can be aqua zumba or zumba qua if you wish i don't know if we're allowed to play around with the, the word zumba because it's a trademark but you, you see what i'm what i'm what, what i'm getting at change the 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 the, the um the the dimensions change the elements in the equation and you get fun you get excitement and those people who come and, and that have been hammered by bad news with adrenaline and cortisol flowing through their, their minds and, and brain, if they can have more serotonin, oxytocin, and um, uh, endorphins with you, that's great. Lots of activities that you can see, you'll be able to go through that. 
nutrition is also one thing. And if I can have, I'll stop sharing. If I can just have two more minutes about this, because some of you are working in hotels or resorts, not just day spas. And I would love for you to consider this. That one hour can be given by a fitness instructor, speaking to 10, 20, 30, 50 people. If weather permitting, they can be outside. If you have a large place, room, a spacious room where they can all fit safely, wearing a mask. Um, so you, you can share all that. But maybe the chef can also on that we can create a special menu for lunch, for brunch on Sunday, for dinner, maybe a set of appetizer, things that people can bake and cook at home to give uh, flavor with seasonal uh, products. And can you imagine, I mean, I'm sure you have Uber Eats or Deliveroo or other types of services in, in all over Canada. Why not say that on the World Wellness Weekend, you can join at your property, hotel, resort, for one hour free of charge, meaningful, where you can learn something. And why don't you stay on property with a special package, a special offer? Um, they can come back, but they can stay. And especially they can stay for a wellness meal, no matter what time of the day, lunch, dinner, or brunch, you can offer it. And if you can't come, or if all the tables are booked, why not order online, click and collect, or have it delivered? On World Wellness Weekend, why not have that option that you can order and have it at home. Catherine? Jean-Guy, you also mentioned uh, when we had our international call on uh, Monday, was the idea of um, whether it's the chef, they come up with their own signature recipe and then that recipe could be shared with the people participating as well. Not, so only, not only can it be shared, and you're right, thank you, Catherine, for raising th this point. The, the recipe can be shared with your logo, with the logo of the Well Wellness Weekend, if you wish. Um, and it can be shared as a PDF. This can be a document that people can share, can work on. There can be a video tutorial because we don't know what kind of September we're going to have. So if you're thinking it's only going to be live in person or could it be live and maybe also a video that you could share, I, I guess plan A and plan B could be like two peas in a pod and you could maximize your audience so that people can then share that video. So absolutely. And... Last year, we had several chefs in thermal cities cooking with thermal water, and that changes the color of the ingredients, who would sign their dishes with a special sauce or ingredients with a W on the plate. Those plates have been Instagrammed. Mm -hmm. And you know, another great idea that came up for the, if you have a day spa and you have, you know, yes, you have massage therapists, but you also have estheticians who know how to do and perform massage. And so from that end, um, you know, you had said, if for some reason we can't get people back on the property, but if we want to do like a learning video, you know, teach them how to do uh, a form of self-massage, or they could do a massage on someone in their household, um, you know, doing some facial massage movements, or as Fian, you said, we could do uh, a video on yoga face massage. Um, there, there's, there's very simple, easy things if you want to do it in a, in a video format and share that as well. So, um, so what I, I would like to do is um, also ask Fian and Sophie, you know, what advice would you give to those considering participating? And actually, did I give that already? I think I may have asked that. But just in terms of examples, um, because I think that what, what maybe... Um, the, the people listening today, our audience, would like to know is a little bit more about examples and things that you have done that you found were successful. Vas-y, Fiana. Okay. Oui, alors, euh, euh, moi, j'ai, depuis, euh, depuis l'an dernier, j'ai commencé avec le World Wellness comme participante. J'ai commencé à, à donner des ateliers d'automassage. Voilà, donc euh, basé sur mes techniques à moi. Et aujourd'hui, c'est viral. Ça a été un succès total. Donc, je suis maintenant reconnue comme euh, l'ambassadrice de, de, de l'automassage <rire> facelift. Voilà, donc euh, des, des gens vont même demander de donner des, des, des ateliers d'automassage individuels. Donc, ils payent pour. 
Donc, alors, 70% de mon revenu vient de, du travail en ligne. Last year, Fian participated as a participant like you can do now. And I was very impressed by what I saw that she was posting on Facebook. This is how we met um, through a connection because I've been a judge at the World Spa, at the World Massage Competition. She knew people there, although she hadn't been in, in uh, Copenhagen 2019, where I was the judge, we got in touch through other massage uh, therapists, artists, masters, and I saw what she did. And she participated just by giving workshops online on self-massage based on her techniques of the ancestral um, techniques of Kobido. And it caught on, it went viral, and now 70% of her revenue doesn't come from treatments that she's doing um, in, her in, in her treatment room. It's coming from workshops she's giving online so that people can massage themselves using those techniques. And the people subscribing to her online workshops get partly reimbursed by their private insurance. Yes, mm -hmm. oui. Et en plus, je m'automasse, donc je m'embellis et je suis payé pour rester belle. And the, the perks of giving self-massage online very regularly is that she gets to massage herself and be paid for that. And it's legal. <laughs> That's great. Um, okay, so uh, let me uh, ask Sophie, uh, in terms of activities, um, is there any that you could share with the audience that, um, you know, that you've either participated in yourself or have heard about? Most certainly. And if any one of you need advice or uh, counsel for yoga or teaching with certified, uh, having certified yoga in your communities or in your spas, please feel free to reach out to me after this and I will be more than happy to connect or to enable uh, with, with how you can personally or personalize an activity in the in the yoga or meditation um, field. Now, what I could recommend is really be yourself. Just say stay as as clean and and close to your your own signature uh, activities. You can see uh, this weekend as being a fabulous um, open house uh, and get more people in. Uh, that can be people in your community. Uh, they don't have to travel the world. They can be at uh, just uh, an arm's reach. Uh, so you can use these tool or these activities, uh, part of world wellness through the advertising and uh, PR channel to just bring people in the door, uh, grow your database, uh, make your service known, make your uh, professional and um, and your staff and your culture just be you and see this as a as a new uh, medium if you will um, that will that will increase your your awareness and visibility on the map because it, because the activity will actually be on the map and if I can just close with another aspect that was discussed, but I really want to reinforce the fact that the virtual aspect, um, the online aspect, if you're able to put it up, to put it up on Zoom, on Instagram, on Facebook Live, through any medium, people now are reaching out more and more on, through online, and that is a direct result of you know the last months that we've all had to do it, whether we like it or not. So yeah, so increase that as well. So maybe there is a way to um, threshold your actual service, just like Fian was mentioning, giving massage or self-massage online isn't that smart. So you, why do you even need to go uh, if you can use this uh, very in interesting time alone or in a very small group with your physician? Um, so online does that, has that immense capabilities. So that's, that's my recommendation. That's wonderful. Um, Jean-Guy. Yeah, thank you, Sophie. And thank you, Catherine. I'd like just to, to jump in for one thing because I, I see time passing by 
very quickly. And I'd love also to enter the Q&A and hear from, from some of your members. I know that Elena with Ten Spa was an active participant last year. Maybe she has something to say. I know Julie Simcox also has ideas. So um, let's, let's make it a conversation. But one thing that I would like to, to also uh, point out are the, the different kinds of exposure you can get. A, there's what you can do by yourself. A, B, there's something, things that we can help you do and, and um, expand on that. Uh, the things you can do by yourself is A, sign, B on the map. You will have links pointed directly at your website. There's no intermediation. We're not uh, selling treatments. Uh, for It's your spa with, if you sign up in your language, English or French, then your page will be multiplied, not duplicated, multiplied in 15 other languages with your link. So it's immediately 16 links pointing to your website, which increases your page rank and increases your search engine optimization. You just had to sign up. Then, of course, when you'll be participating, you'll either be a participant or maybe you'll want to strive to be a wellness champion going over and beyond, not just giving one hour, maybe several, donating to community. There's different ways that you can really raise above. It's just one hour and, and I'll do the bare minimum. There will be at the end of this week, two badges that we are going to send to Catherine, one of a wellness participant, one of a wellness champion. I will let Catherine decide who gets to be considered as a wellness champion. And you will appear on the website as such because I trust Catherine and the board to, uh, to identify those among you who are really engines and driving this industry forward. So there's recognition, there's extra visibility. B, we are at the end of this week going to prepare a um, press release because we always have one in March to say in six months from the, um, from the March equinox to the September equinox, six months, we're kicking off and we're saying, in six months, there's going to be the World Wellness Weekend again. And uh, now is the time with June to address a special message and press release to all the monthly publications that will finalize their September issue by the beginning of um, July or mid-July. Maybe it's too late, maybe we still have a chance, but it's, it's now that we will be sending next Tuesday. It's being sent to so many monthly publications and you could have a chance to be part of that, or there will be another press release that we will issue on August 17 with much more details, what's happening, which day, what time, how can people join. We'll need to be very specific because journalists for TV, radio, dailies, weeklies, they will say, give me three examples, five maximum. I can have the whole list. You know, pick your champions and send them to me. So this is something. I'll close on this because I saw Elena raising her hand and, and I'd like to pass this. Year one, we had 45 publications. Year two, 220. Year three, 2019, we had 450 mentions in the media reaching an audience of 224 million people. Then COVID happened. And then we continued to grow in the number of countries. And then we continue to reach the, the journalist and saying, we still have a thousand venues participating in a growing number of countries. And journalists turned us down saying, you'll cancel, you'll postpone. They, they all do, you all do, you will. No, we won't. And we didn't. But some trusted us, some didn't. So we dropped 220 mentions last year. We tend to do better. With your help, we can all do. Thank you, Zhang Yi. That's wonderful. Uh, Elena, I see that you have your hand up. We have uh, six minutes left. <laughs> yes, hello, everybody. Um, as Zhang Yi mentioned, we participated before. And to be honest with you, uh, I didn't put a lot of, lot of thinking or I didn't really expect anything in, in, uh, of this. And uh, uh, COVID definitely helped us to think about everything step back and, and really as, as the previous uh, um, speaker said, uh, work on it. So uh, one thing I wanna mention, uh, it's a great marketing tool. As much as we you know, all um, you know, working for wellness and we're very passionate about it, but this is a business. We also all running our businesses. So this is a great marketing tool that uh, 
for nothing puts your property, puts your business, puts your uh, as a professional on the map, on the international map, and so your reach is incredible um, uh, for really no expense. So that's something that everybody should probably think and think outside of the box, how your local business can be on international map and exposed to uh, people and travelers around the world. Elena, can I just thank you so much for saying so. I would just like to, to challenge what you said in a very positive way. Yes, you don't have to spend money to participate with Wellness Weekend, but please, if you don't spend money, spend one hour with your team, brainstorming with them, what can they do to bring their game to another level? Don't spend money, spend time in conversations to create great content that will make journalists say, we're sending a crew, we need to have that on camera. Tell right. us more. You, need, you want influencers to say, book me a place because I have 10,000 followers that want to hear about that. I want to be part of that experience. That's right. And this is what we're doing here locally. And uh, we're speaking to Human Rights Museum, which is a very unique, one of a kind in the country property uh, that we possibly will provide, will have an event at their property. So it becomes um, more than just well-being. It becomes the, because I think what women uh, well-being is a human right simply is that that's what it is so we are trying to bring it to the uh, next level pretty much here if, if i can also add 30 seconds catherine on this you are so right it is a human right it is also part of the 17 sustainable development goals of the united nations with an objective to reach as many of these goals by 2030 and you can be a part of it because the first one is end of poverty. The second one is end of hunger. You can help with that. But the third one is ours. Good health and well-being for all. Yes, good health is about medicine, medication, vaccines. It's also about prevention. It's also about not just the one pandemic that we have now with COVID-19. It's also with the pandemic of uh, um, poor sleep, nutrition and obesity, sedentarity, um, so many, so many, mental health and mental distress. And yeah. So there, there are so many, and you can be a champion of that, and that can be a conversation starter with your mayor, with your town hall, with your visitors bureau, with your chamber of commerce, with local media. This is what got me to Davos twice to be part of a think tank. Not for me to be there, oh, Davos, Switzerland, but to be part of a community of people who, who, who were speaking and were acting. And one of these people, um, uh, Gareth Presh, Irish, was part of the team two weeks ago in Berlin, working with the G20 on advancing that same um, sustainable development goal number three. It's yours to take, it's yours to own. We will. Uh, thank you we so will. much. Thank you, thank you, Elena, for yeah contributing that. That because uh, you know for someone who has actually participated in it, it really helps uh, just in terms. And you know what? Part of what we're doing today is you know bringing people here who have had some sort of experience um, participating in world wellness. And you know the ideas. There's tons of ideas. There was actually one property that contacted me, and they said, "Well, we want to focus on meditation or maybe mindfulness." And I, I asked John Guy. I put it out there to John Guy and Fian, uh, and I said, "You know, they're thinking along these lines." And John Guy came back with this fantastic idea. So it, it really is. I believe this better together. Um, I, I think that if this collective really can help all the way around on all, everything that you're mentioning. Um, just quickly, there was a question, John Gee, and I just want to be sure um, on that question was, is this only for spas or can individual business owners participate? For example, health life coaches and RMTs. Absolutely, absolutely. Hashtag wellness for all, hashtag wellness by all. You can register online. Can I share my screen for a quick second? Yep. Very quick. And as you can see, I'm making short stories even shorter as, as the minutes go by. Thank you, Catherine, for being my. Do you see the, the website? Yes. Very quickly, that's the website, Wellness Weekends, plural. If you click Locate Me with your phone, your tablet, your computer, you will find, hopefully, businesses or professionals, independent, um, um, independent workers next to you. You can search and enter Toronto, 
I did that. And you, well, you can see Quebec. Um, you can see Toronto, six results for now. You can take a look at Canada, 73 results. You can see all the different properties. Some are wellness enthusiasts, wellness champions. Some, you, you can see uh, Fians. You can see Yoga Tribes with Sophie. You can see Hamam at Tenspa with Elena, wellness champion with a banner. If you click on her, you can see the Monastère des Augustines. If you click on that page, you'll see the banner, you'll see the logo, you'll see that they stand out. You can call them with your phone. It's a computer, so it's, it's not going to work. You can send them an email right away, and my computer knows me, so they know that uh, Jean-Guy Wellness de Gabriac. Okay, that's, that's my hey. new nickname. Uh, and then I can say, Yo, it, it looks great, book me um, a room a room or book me a treatment or have join me um, have me join that that workshop you can share on facebook on twitter on linkedin you cannot share on instagram because on, on instagram you can only share photos images and this is a page so you can share a page on instagram but I, immediately i can share on on my uh, facebook i can say i'll be there i can tag friends uh, here i can say i'll be there um, this is the state in which Join me. So there are many, many things that can be done. If they want to reach out to you, they email you directly, they call you directly. You can even have directions from where you are and it will show you the, the, the easiest route. But the one thing you want to do is sign up. And all yeah. you have to do, signing up, is going to your, your email, the password of your choosing, we would like to hear your first name and that's it because when we send an email, we'd like to say, hi, Catherine, rather than hi. Uh, and, and that's all. If you want to add more things, click Great. here. We hate spams, just like you. Sign up, that's it. I'll stop sharing. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, Jean-Guy. And also, I just want to mention to everybody who's uh, still with us here that um, you know, Leading Spas has, and I've put up the uh, link, uh, a, we've created a dedicated page on our website um, to also even further amplify your message. Uh, so I put the link up there. And um, what we want to do is we want to showcase whatever activities that you have going on. And they could be going on between now and September. Um, and then you end in September on the September 18, 19, with actually a celebration um, of the journey. So it, I mean, it's really up to you. It's, it's um, you know, you can be as creative as you want to be. So please, everyone, if you have questions, feel free to reach out uh, to us at Leading Spas. You can reach out to Jean-Guy, uh, Fien, and Sophie, are our ambassadors. Um, they have also great ideas too. So they're here to support you. We're here to support you. We want to make this a despite COVID. And could I ask everyone, with your permission, could we... Um, have you turned your cameras on? And, and we'd like to take a screenshot of everybody doing what Jean Guy has created. You want to show us? Yes, it's called a wealthie. So many people take their phone and take a selfie. We would like to in in introduce you to something that we launched four years ago that is now around the world. It's called a wealthie, a wellness selfie. You Actually, you cannot take a wellness selfie because you need both your hands. Do, do you remember what Churchill did for the victory sign or the, the people, the, the, the peacemakers in the 70s? Peace, brother. Or for Churchill, victory. Never, never give up. Did I say never? Never give up. Victory. And we came up with the victory of the mind, the victory of the body. And when body and mind are coming together, two of these are making a W, W for World Wellness Weekend. Now, don't do the wealthy with the back of your hand, because if you remember Churchill, when he did the first victory sign, he did this. And people said, no, 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 Mr. Prime Minister, all the way. So show your palm. Victory. All right. So everybody ready? We're going to do a screenshot of everybody doing the victory, but never give up. Laurent, are you ready? Okay, three, two, a one, a two, one. three. Thank you. Awesome. awesome. All right. Well, thank you so, so much, everybody, for taking the time to join us today. Um, and we wish you all a great rest. I just want to make a little note that we have another webinar that's going to be coming up June 23rd. And that will be with Heather Stockley on leveraging virtual engagement in the spa. So this is about uh, creating online learning.
All right. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so, so and much. Thank you to thank our participants, our, our panel. Thank you so much to our panel. Sorry. <laughs> thank pleasure. you. Thank Merci. you. Merci beaucoup. Bonne journée. Merci.